We are back with another TTD with the good people from Berkeley. We got a mega unboxing today for 2020. Man, it's about to be real. Coming to you right now. Before we get to the video, let me tell you about the good people at Sublime Wear USA. If you're looking for a good, affordable quality tournament jersey with a real quick turnaround, check them out. They do my tournament jersey, Sublime Wear USA. For yourself, for your club, for your high school, check them out. Sublime Wear USA. Get your tournament jersey done for 2020. What's up, folks? And thanks for tuning in to the TTD with me, Devin Banks, here in the Bass Basement. And today, we got a mega unboxing from the good people from Berkeley. And what do I mean mega? I mean mega. We got some goodies up in here, folks. We got some goodies up in here. We're going to open it up and see what we got. But we got a big old box of Berkeley. Ooh. You can smell that power bait coming out the box. Ooh, let's see what's in it. All right, let's open this up and see what we got. Man, that power bait, when I have the bass basement all funky. Ooh, let's see what we got here. Oh man, open this up real quick so you guys can see, but we got a big old box of power bait. Now let's just go through this unboxing. This is one that uh, bait that I really can't go without when I'm fishing for smallmouth. And that is the Berkeley Power Swimmer. And this is in that 3.8, and you know the color, Sungill. If you haven't checked out my video when I was on Lake St. Clair, swim bait for Lake St. Clair, I was throwing this swim bait in this size and the smallest was on it. And any lake that I've been to when I'm uh, fishing for a smallmouth and they're on a swim bait bite, this matches the perch to a T. Very durable bait. I love this 3.8 size. Matches the hatch perfectly. Great right here. Let's see how many of these I got in here. Quite, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Oh yeah, Qu quite a bit of these. Need to have these in stock. For sure. Let's keep digging. Wow. Uh, came out for 2020. My boy Jordan Lee came out with the Champ Crawl. And this is in the Yummy Crawl. So it's got a little bit of green pumpkin and red bottom. But this is going to be a great bait that I can Texas rig with. I can Carolina rig with. And I can Nico rig with. A uh, very good bait that I'm looking forward to using. This is a Champ Craw, and this is in the color Yummy Craw. Can't wait to get that going. Green pumpkin and red. Got a, these up in here floating around. Sweet. We gonna keep digging. We gonna keep digging. What we got here? This is like one of my all-time baits that I love to throw, love to use, very confident in it. This is the General. This is in Baby Bass. I know I got a lot of these floating in here because I, I knew I ordered a lot of these because I went through them. I drop shot this bait. I flipped this bait. I Texas rigged this bait. Great, versatile bait. And it has that power bait max scent. So 45 more percent fish you can catch with this bait. I know I got more floating around in here, but this is definitely a... Uh, that's definitely a confidence bait right there. Let's keep digging through what I got. What I got right here. This is the new uh, water bug. This is the new water bug. Let's take take this out. Uh, Mike Iconelli designed this. And believe it or not, this bait is meant for a drop shot bait. It's meant for a Ned Rig bait because it floats. And this is in the Gobi Magic color, which is going to be perfect for what? Drop shotting. And I can't wait to use this on Lake St. Clair, Lake Champlain. Uh, great bait. 
that I'm looking forward to using. And it fits the size of a Gobi. Ooh, that power bait. That's why they eat it. That's why they eat it. So I got a couple packs of those. That was in the four inch. That was in the four inch. What else I got in here? This is a bait I used last year and I went through a lot of them flipping. And this is in bl black and blue. And this is the Bunker Hog. Bunker Hog, black and blue, good flipping bait, creature bait. Y'all know about creature baits and the versatility of them and what you can do with them. And nonetheless, that's a great bait to use. Also got in green pumpkin red. I know I got more floating in here. Sit those over there. Man, I got a lot of stuff in here. I got a lot. What the? What the? Get that out of here. What? Get out of here. We want to unbox, not unpop. Get out of here. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. More power swimmers. I really go through that bait. Springtime, springtime. When springtime comes around, this is a bait that a lot of people, I don't hear about it no more, but I throw it for small, for, for large mouth. And this is just a Berkeley power bait bottom hopper, but in bright orange or methylate. And I use this for the floating worm technique. And a lot of large mouth will come up and grab this and very good bait to use in the springtime when a large mouth are shallow in the grass, bedding, um, garden fry. That's a great bait to use. I got a couple of those floating in here. More water bugs. Put the water bugs over here. There go the water bugs. More of the generals. Throw those right there. Water bugs. Told you we got a lot of these power swimmers. Man, they, they knocked those out. More generals. Now, this is the general, but this is in the four inch. Sometimes when uh, you're, you downsize because the bite is very, very uh, tough, or you just want a more subtle action. And this four inch uh, general, once again, baby bass, is perfect for drop shotting too. Sometimes those bigger ones will eat this, this four inch bait. Maybe they're just on um, a smaller bait, bait fish profile. But this right here is perfect. I love this size and very ideally, uh, ideally, very idealistic to use uh, when the fishing is tough or they're on a smaller profile bait fish. So that's the four inch general in baby bass. Keep digging. Bunker hogs and green pumpkin red flake. There we go again with some bottom hoppers. Uh, Jordan Lee again with the champ crawl, but this is in straight green pumpkin. This is straight green pumpkin. Very uh, well packaged. Very well packaged, as you can see here. Comes in the clamshell. Very well, well packaged. And wow, that's, that's a good bait right there. You can tell. Um, very uh, bulky and plastic, so it's gonna be durable. And a lot of things I can do with this bait, Carolina rig, flip, punch, use it as a trailer, uh, dip those, pinch your chartreuse, and I think we're gonna have some money right there with the Champ Craw. And that's just in basic green pumpkin, and it's packaged real well, comes in the clamshell, so you don't wanna take that out and put it in a, in a container or anything. This would be something that you wanna keep, just like it is right there, in a Ziploc. Three, three, four packs in a, in a large Ziploc, throw them in the boat, throw them in the backpack, and go fish. Green pumpkin, the champ crawl. All right, what we got here? We still digging, we still digging through this big old box. Bunker hog, once again, watermelon red. If you haven't seen my video on color choices, I'll put that in the link below, but I usually go with uh, green pumpkin red, watermelon red, and black and blue. Those are the colors I usually go with across the country uh, to attack clear, stained, muddy water. So I'll put that in the link in the description below. Once again, got some water bugs. This is in the 3.3. This is in the 3.3 inch size. So smaller profile, 
smaller profile. This is 3.3, the other one was the four inch. So smaller profile, but same concept, Ned rig. I can uh, uh, put this on a drop shot, um, put it on a ball head jig and scoot it along the bottom because there's that flat bottom right there. Have it move across the bottom. Um, they call it uh, scrubbing the bottom. They have it scrubbing the bottom to where it looks like a goby. It's kicking up sand, it's coming through the grass. Those small is gonna come and jump on that. Plus it got that power bait. So that's the 3.3 inch and that's in the same color, goby magic. All right, there's the big boys with the, uh... here we go again with the champ crawl, green pumpkin, champ crawl, green pumpkin. We dig it, man. Ooh. If y'all could be in here right now with this power bait. Whoa, watermelon red again, bunker hog. Black and blue bunker hog. We've got some generals, we got some water bugs. Let's talk about those. What we got again. Two colors I use when I do the floating minnow. Two colors I use when I do a floating minnow. I do that methylate, a bright orange, or I do the yellow. All right. Why? You can, white's good too, but I've found more success with the methylate or the yellow. Why? Because you can see these uh, baits from a distance as you dart. And, um, and dance these baits in the water. Very visual bait as you sit there and move the worm. And you will see largemouth come out of the grass and just grab it and go back down. You set the hook. So yellow and methylate are the colors I go with when I do the floating worm. Another pack of those. Water bugs, bunker hogs, bunker hogs. Water bugs. All right, anything else that's by itself. Anything else is by itself. Bunker hogs, bunker hogs. All right, soft plastics for days. Soft plastics for days. Another color that I'm gonna try out this year with the Power Swimmer is this Bass Magic. I'm gonna try that out as well. I'll let you know how I do uh, in the year as, as I continue to film and do videos, but Bass Magic, Bass Magic, that's another color in the 3.8 size that I went with. And I've got uh, quite a few packs of those. So we're gonna take those back up. What else we got? We got some stuff. Here we go again, bunker hogs, floating worms, floating worms. And I'm a kid in a candy store. You understand what I'm saying? What we got right here, this is the deal this is the deal and one thing about this bait uh, this is in black and blue one thing about this bait it is meant to be a swim jig or chatterbait style trailer that's what this bait is meant to do and i've got it in three colors but this is it right here. So very bulky plastic from what I see right here. So you can get that vibrating jig hook through there. It's gonna hold. And then you've got this action right here. And you can already tell how this is gonna quiver and move water and how it's gonna move in the water. So very excited. So that's definitely just gonna go on my black and blue uh, swim jigs or my black and blue uh, vibrating jig. So I've got that in black and blue. That's awesome. That would be in muddy to stained water. But what are we looking at here? Uh, bunker hog, that's black blue flake. We, we, we looked at those. What have you got here? This is the general five inch baby bath. I told you I love that. You've talked about that. Uh, this is the craw fatty. This is the craw fatty in 3.25. This is a bait that, once again, I'm looking just for an opportunity for a bulkier bait to punch, to flip. Small bait. It can use this as a, as a jig trailer right there. But uh, 3.25, very versatile. 
um, I can use this on the back of my finesse jigs. So that, that's why I got those right there. Uh, 3.25 size, chuck those right there. What else we got going on? This is the Power Chunk. Now this is the Power Chunk, came out last year. And this is in the Power Bait Max Scent line. And this color right here, ooh, let's get it open. Let's get it open. There we go. This color right here is gonna be good when I'm flipping. All right, and I can also put this on the back of a swim jig. That is the, the power chunk right there. 3.25, put that on, on the power chunk, put that on the back of jigs. Black and blue pit boss. Black and blue pit boss. I used this quite a bit last year, but if you, if you guys don't know about, about the about the pit boss, I guess you guys are hanging behind a rock, but uh, this is just a getting down and dirty flipping bait. I can't I can't tell you too much about it. And if you don't know about it, you better you better find somebody and learn something. Cause this is a this is a fish catching machine right there. So you gotta have that 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 pitch boss. If you love to flip, you love to pitch, you love to punch, you gotta have that bait right there, no doubt about it. Uh, this is the three inch meaty chunk. Three inch meaty chunk. Let's check this out right here. Man, they package these baits so when they get to you, you know what's going on. This is the meaty chunk right here. Black and blue. I can throw that on the back of a swim jig right there. I can throw that uh, uh, behind a flipping jig. And that is the three inch version, black and blue, meaty chunk. And that right there is gonna create a lot of turbulence in the water and it's gonna create a lot of action. It's gonna get those fish's attention when they're coming through that grass, wood, rocks, docks or whatever. And I'm gonna get bit on that, no doubt. I'm a power fisherman. I love covering a lot of water and that's what's gonna get it done for me. Um, crawl fatty, this is a 3.25. Let's look at that. 3.25 in the craw fatty. 3.25, but black and blue. All right, use that in the back of a trailer, finesse jig trailer. Ooh wee. Meaty chunk, three inch green pumpkin. Let's look at this. Meaty chunk. Be able to throw this behind uh, bluegill swim jigs, green pumpkin swim jigs, um, my flipping jigs. I'll be able to put that on there, so that's gonna be good. Dip that, dip them tails a little bit of chartreuse, a little bit of orange, and get my swim jig and on. What we got right here? This is the craw fatty and green pumpkin. This is the four inch craw fatty. So we talked about a 3.25, I'll show you in black and blue and green pumpkin. This right here is the four inch. So it's gonna be a little bigger. And there it is right there. There goes that meat chunk right there. That's a good bait. Very versatile bait, all these craw bait. Very versatile bait. Almost done folks, almost done. Uh, Four inch black and blue craw fatty. There you go right there. That's gonna be a good bait by itself. Flipping, pitching, Carolina rigging. Maybe even have that on a Nico rig on the bottom. Uh, this is the four inch black and blue max scent. This is the critter hog, all right? I was waiting to, for, for these to come up. This is the critter hog, power bait max scent, critter hog in black and blue. I went through a lot of black and blue creature baits last year. 
And this is one that in practice, I'm gonna use a lot. All right, we're talking about four inches but it's a smaller profile than the bunker hall. All right, four inches, it's Berkeley Power Bay Max scent. I'm gonna use this in practice a lot because I can have this on the deck and it won't dry out due to that Berkeley Power Bay Max scent infused into it. And it's gonna be a great bait that I can use when I'm flipping docks, flipping wood, uh, with that color black and blue in particular, when I'm uh, flipping grass, when I'm uh, flipping um, any water that's stained to muddy, that's gonna be a, a good color to use right there and a confidence bait. What do we got here? We have four inch baby bass general. We talked about those. This is the deal. Once again, the deal, I was waiting to come across this one. Uh, we talked about the black and blue. Once again, vibrating jigs, or if you wanna put this behind a swim jig, you can do it too, but this is meant for a vibrating jig uh, trailer. And this right here is electric shad. So I'm gonna throw this behind my my white swim jigs, my uh, shad imitating uh, swim jigs and vibrating jigs. It's gonna go behind there. Um, and if, you, if the hatch is small, guess what? You can just trim a little bit off and slide that big bulky hook that's on those vibrating jigs, those jackhammers, um, and get to swinging and it's gonna create a lot of vibration and attract a lot right there. That's gonna be a versatile bait, a very versatile bait. One thing I might even try to do is just put a little quarter ounce head on this and swim this through grass with um, a three out hook or a four out hook. Um, extra wide gap, slit this body open a little bit and go from there and see how that works. That that might be a modification that I might use. Something that the fish has not seen yet. Yes, this is the last but not least. And what is the most common vibrating jig chatterbait style color? It's what? It is green pumpkin and this is the green pumpkin the deal yeah we i've showed you black and blue i've showed you uh electric shed this is simply just green green pumpkin right, right here and this is going to be another one of those colors where you just dip the tail in chartreuse and you tie that or you not tie that on but you 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 put that on that vibrating jig um hook that's that's very stout that's very strong and you're gonna be able to catch a lot of fish on that uh, trailer with that attached to that vibrating jig. Man, that's a lot. That is a lot. All right, man. We got a lot here, folks. We got a lot. So I got to sit down. I got to organize this. I'm very organized. I got to put uh, these in my Ziploc bags and label them and, and, and go from there, but that is a lot of soft plastics, and I got to get to it. Well, that's a wrap on today's TTD in the Bass Basement with a mega unboxing from Berkeley. If I don't have one of your favorite Berkeley bass in that box, let me know what they are in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to check them out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And while you're at it, hit that bell. Peace.